Okay, Jack, it's over to you. Thank you, Gary. Well, oh, what a raucous crowd we got here. Can you make some more noise? How about, how about this Pinball Expo? How about Pinball Expo? Everybody thank Rob Burke, Bridget Burke, all the Burke heads, his family, everybody. Thank you for doing this, all your volunteers. It's great. Uh, Martin, what are you guys doing? You're going into the video? Can you put this mic up louder? Can you buy a song over? That's good. Okay. You going into the video? Sounds not good. I know. He's in the process of fixing it. Louder! Yo! Test one, two. That was not on. I think you better keep talking. Why? Isn't Maybe. he doing his thing? Is Martin going to put a video up? Or uh, we're doing something else. Yes? But it's not reliable. Test. That is not reliable. Martin, you got your video? Okay, well, Martin's getting his act together. I gotta say that uh, it's an exciting time to introduce a new pinball machine. And people, there's a lot of people making games and we respect all of them, but being Jersey Jack, I can tell all of you that nobody makes a game like Jersey Jack Pinball. <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that was really important to us, we wanted to get Steve Ritchie into the company. I, he's been a friend for a long time and I believe in him and a lot of what he did. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, what you have is probably one of his best games that he ever created. Him and his team, they went all out. They went all out. They made a pinball machine that plays like it should. It checks all the boxes. The game is fast, it's fun. It puts a smile on your face. I've been playing mine for a couple of months, bragging, bragging. And it's, it's, it's really, really a great game. Uh, I know on location, Steve Ritchie games make money. I was an operator. So don't have any fear about putting this on location. We made a new model. We made the Platinum Edition that has rad cows that sparkle. It has a topper. It has inner art blades. And we're making 1,000 CEs. There's a whole bunch of them got sold today. I don't know if it's sold out, but it's going to be sold out. Spectacular game. And the whole team that did it, they deserve a lot of credit for doing all the work they did. You know, when, 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 Steve, when Steve came to the company, the expectation was he was going to make a good game. And I can tell you that he failed miserably. <laughs> he made a great game, made a great game with the team. And, you know, he pushed the boundaries of what we could do at Jersey Jack Pinball. i just give you one little statistic. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz was a really groundbreaking, award-winning game. It had 139 RGB LEDs in it. Okay? The CE version of this game has almost 1,600 RGB LEDs. Okay? And when you see it, when you play it, you'll be in love. I'm just, you know, it, it's, it's Elton John. It's the soundtrack of so many people's lives, whether they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even older. Everybody loves Elton John. He's a great humanitarian. It was wonderful to work with him. And uh, he approved everything. And, and, um, he even did custom speech for the game, which is kind of humbling, which is great. Um. Is this thing on? Test one, two. Hello, test one, two. Can you hear that? Yeah. All right, all right. First of all, it's great to be back at Pinball Expo. It's 10 times better to be back with a game. <laughs> it's been a long time for me. I, we haven't had a game, just the way things that uh, came apart uh, at Stern and came together at Jersey Jack. Um, it, it definitely worked out. And I, I have to say that um, this is one of the best teams I've ever worked with, especially, I, I mean, I'm going to say everybody, but I just got to say that 
I've seen so much strife going on between software guys that this was a pleasant uh, uh, relief. So um, everybody got along pretty good, and I do like that. How you doing? <laughs> anyway, I'd like to tell you people that what I always say, the Steve Ritchie game isn't really a Steve Ritchie game. It's a whole lot of people doing great work. And they're here tonight with me. And, uh, and they, they all think they're going to get away with some hiding over here where I can't really, where they, they, they don't want to be called, really. They don't want to at all. But I, some are probably in the audience, I hope. Is Chris Talco here? Uh, oh, there he is. He stands up. <clears throat> this guy's a mighty. <clears throat> I spent more time working with Chris than anyone else on the team. He's a mechanical engineer and spectacular, professional, seasoned, awesome. Um, next guy I'm going to talk about is Bill Grupp. <laughs> Bill Grupp, get out here, no hiding. <laughs> Bill did the lead, lead software, um, but I got to say, I mean, it was. It was so peaceful, these three brothers who have two new ones. Three brothers meaning uh, <coughs> Bill, uh, <laughs> Duncan. Uh, how do you spell his name? I think it's D-U-N-K-I-N. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Duncan. Duncan. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, and of course, uh, Joe Katz. He's the guy over here who had the glasses on but doesn't. Joe Katz right there. He's not moving. How about that? All right, that was something. Okay. After that, we got a, a young guy who, uh, I mean, I, I was so grateful to meet him because he has these great um, talents with making things and, uh, and great ideas and, uh, and good engineering. And his name is Dan Lechak. Where's that guy? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm grateful to know him. And also, he's taught me a lot of stuff about machinery and, and well, just good information. We have exchanged heavy duty stuff. Okay, after that, I'm gonna announce uh, Dan Moulter, who probably isn't here. Are you here, Dan? No. Damn it! <laughs> He's probably gonna be in trouble. Uh, maybe Monday or something like that, I don't know. All right, anyway, Dan is um, the uh, lead mechanical engineer. I shouldn't say that. He is the boss of mechanical engineering. and. Uh, he did a lot of good work. He's not here to receive the uh, uh, kudos, but whatever, I can't, I can't, uh, he's probably mad at me. That's what I think. Okay, so then we got, um, we have this young guy. Uh, I mean, I was really happy to see him come through the door because he was working at Stern also. And he is Nick Jensen. Nick Jensen. <laughs> Nick is responsible for a lot of stuff, but how the crocodile rocks and also the entire topper, the whole scene, uh, he's great with them, and uh, I'm, I'm glad he was on the team to do some great work. After that, I would like to say hello to Tony. <laughs> to Monaro. Okay, it's a long one. Is he here? Tony, where are you? Okay, electronics. He's like crazy good. I know it sounds, every, it sounds like a, a broken record, but uh, Tony is someone who works insanely hard. I'm being polite. He's a great guy, and he gets a lot done. He's incredible, but he's also insane. <laughs> okay, then we got uh, a guy that came to the company recently. He's been a, a great asset. Uh, uh, we have communicated extremely well because he knows pinball very well, and walked in and, and uh, started uh, helping us build the games. And this is, he's hiding over there again, Drew Young. Step out, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. After that, uh, mechanical engineer Ernesto Velasquez. Are you here, Ernie? <laughs> hey, about that? <laughs> mechanical engineering and um, and other things. Um, after that, I would like to say uh, thank you very much to, uh, wow, Mark Molitor. Is he here? Oh, there he is. Get out here. He's, can't hide. No hiding. He's our uh, resident artist at uh, Jersey Jack. He does many things. Uh, <clears throat> 
I'm grateful to know him, and he helped a hell of a lot on the game. Um, next guy is a, a young man who's, uh, I mean, we kind of grabbed him up, you know, and I, I, I had no idea uh, that he was coming or I even that we were looking for, I guess I knew we were looking for someone, but I had no idea. All of a sudden comes this man, and he's, he's a young guy. I love working with him for audio. He's already hip. He's already like he's 45, but he's not. Pierce Colbert, step out, please, sir. <laughs> After that, I got to get uh, handed out. I, I hate this, though, because the guy has such a big head. Chris Francie, right there, artwork. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a big head. Uh, we got along well. I, I also love the artwork. I want to say that publicly. All of it. I love it. I, don't, I get a lot of bad artwork on my games. I don't know if you guys have noticed. You ever seen a flash close up? How about Stellar Wars backlash with no, absolutely no perspective? <clears throat> All right, never mind that. All right, so we're going to go on to um, actually another artist. He's probably not here. I wish he was, John Yowsey, who did a, a, a lot of the, uh, the CE uh, model. Um, also, I've, I've worked with him many times, too. It's always a pleasure. He's just good. Um, after that, I, I have to... Uh, I gotta give a hand to JP DeWin. I love the artwork. He, this is the guy that coordinated everything, okay? He's a spectacular artist, and, and um, uh, we had some arguments, but they were small. <laughs> and, and he won them all, so. <clears throat> all right, so uh, next we're gonna talk about um, Mark Seiden. Where are you, Mark? Hey! You're, oh, he's brave, he stood up, I'm so glad. <clears throat> Mark Seiden started out as an apprentice. He had already made his own game, um, Megatropolis. <laughs> was that, that's not the name. What was it? Metroid. Oh, right, Metroid, yes. Okay, I didn't get it right. I've only played it like once and it was a long time ago. Anyway, Mark was a ton of help on this game. In the very beginning, uh, he's the only guy I had. And uh, he, he's got a lot of good ideas, too. And he is, I think he's going to be a great game designer. He has a game, and that's all I'm going to say about that. OK. Um, wow, who's next? I hate to say this, but I have to call Olaf Gremi. <laughs> <laughs> This man, if you look at the animations on this game, I swear to God, they blow away any game I've ever seen before, and I love them. He, John Paul, they do magic. That's it. All the way from the Netherlands. <laughs> Somebody else here from the Netherlands, eh? All right. Um, let's see. Next guy. Uh, it ain't a guy. It's Crystal Jemnik. Is she here? Crystal, stand up! <laughs> uh, probably many of you know her. She's a pinball person from way back, and um, she has an interesting job and uh, a much-needed job at Jersey Jack. And also, she, is, uh, she helped us build the games, and I like that. I like guys who build games. <laughs> I can't help it. Anyway, thank you. Um, also, Ted Estes is here. No, he said he couldn't make it. Also software, he did some, yeah. He is here. All right. I'm blind, I'm sorry. You did say you couldn't be here. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Uh, the next guy is, um, wow. Jason Allen. Jason Allen, where are you? This is a, this is a rookie at Stern. I'm sorry, a rookie at Jersey Jack. Oh, my God. <clears throat> He's done some very nice work. You will see it as you play the game in lighting. Probably other things that I don't know about, but uh, I'm very impressed with him for uh, him and his buddy Taylor to come here uh, to our company. I'm really glad they caught on so quick and they're flying through now. And I love their enthusiasm about pinball. It's just, it's a special thing. And I, you know, a lot of people never get that. Uh, they have both have it. And uh, I'm thankful.
Um, after that, we're talking about Nate Lawinger. Is he here? Where's Nate? No Nate. Nate is a bill of materials guy, but I, I, what I really like is when he comes by and says, can't put that nut on there because this nut is on the bill of materials. Okay. Yeah, he tells me every part that we need to use. He knows all the part numbers. I don't know any part numbers. I'm not a part number guy. I never was and never will be. <coughs> anyway, we thank you, Nate. And uh, we have Eric Miller. Eric Miller, are you here? Guess not. Also, um, electronic engineering, very good, and, and life testing. Um, he's done a good job for us, uh, making sure all these things last a long time. Uh, after that, I have to, uh, uh, Ashley Peterson, are you here? Awesome! Also in the electronics department. The whole company comes out. I love it. Except Ted Estes, he didn't show up. No, he did, never mind. Um, after that, I, I got to give a, a huge thanks to Ken Cromwell. He has done so many things. Okay, he's bashful. Anyway, uh, he makes us look good, and I, I love that. And uh, he's also a very creative guy. I mean, he just, you know, why don't we try this? Why don't we try that? He just, yeah, okay. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, good man. The other guy I'm going to thank, he doesn't want to be thanked, but he's going to be. For many, many things he's done at Jersey Jack, uh, not specifically on Elton John, but on, on just about everything he touches. I think for a while, sometimes, the company wouldn't work without him. And his name is Michael J. Fox. Where are you, Mike? Where are you? Show me. Show your face. <laughs> there he is. He's right back there. He begged me not to, not to tell you that, okay? He didn't want to be mentioned. Okay, last but not least, no, not last but not least, is um, Leslie Torres, and she's not here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? No. Anyway, she's the HR lady, and I have to say thank you to her for pulling me, off, you know, pulling some of this trash garbage that, I mean, just stuff I have to do every day. I don't want to do it. I want to make a game. And, and she's helped me an awful lot. I'm not saying that, what am I saying? I just say that she's a, a very nice lady who understood that, uh, hey, I'm not getting any younger. I can't read as good without glasses, you know, and I, I'm just grateful that she's helped me through a number of circumstances. Um, there's another guy I want to thank, too. It's like this guy, I mean, I've been with him, friends with him for 40 years, and it's like, um, got us every damn thing you could possibly want for Elton John. It's just, and we, we didn't get what we want. He got it anyway. And uh, there are several things. Like, uh, there's some cartoon stuff that's never been anywhere except in Elton John's concert performances. And we got all those cartoons that he runs behind, behind himself when he's during the show. And it's awesome. And, and it's like, I just, uh, it's incredible. And then there's one more guy. Who was that guy? No, it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of guessed it, I think. I, I might have given it away. I don't know. It's like. <laughs> who was that guy? <laughs> Who's the other guy? The I other was guy trying to figure out who the guy was. No, no I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, it's Jack. Uh, <laughs> He goes the extra mile for licenses, and I very much appreciate it. And folks, that's what I have to say tonight. Um, we're going to invite you all to come and play the games. We got some toys and glasses and stuff to pass so out. Before, so before you do that, King, What's that? before you do that, King, you know what happens when you thank people individually? You leave some people out. You know, you did a good job. What? You did a good job. You you did a good job. Thank you. I'm happy to be, I'm not happy to be a But you man. forgot Eric Mignor. Forgot Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot Olaf. You forgot Olaf. You forgot Olaf. Olaf. Right? Olaf? Oh, you mentioned Olaf. Okay, well, I want to thank Pat Lawler. Where the hell's Pat Lawler? Is he here?
Pat came. I'm glad. And I want to thank. I want to thank all of you, really, because without you, we don't have a company. And uh, what I would say is, go out and buy this game. <laughs> and that's Jersey Jack telling you that. Go buy this game. It's the. Gr it's one of the greatest games I've ever played. That upper right flipper. I never saw an upper right flipper that can make all those shots. I can make one shot on that ten times in a row. I love it. The orbit, Steve, you did a great job. You. You're a pain in the ass to work with, but you, we. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You did um, a great job. Shall we let these people play the games? Yes! Let's go! And good night, and thank you. Also, this is the only night I'm going to be here. If you want an autograph, bring up your stuff. I will not be here for the rest of the show. If anybody.